Hello, and welcome to Once Upon a Time in Black History. I'm your host, Tamara Shiloh, author, educator, and owner of the Multicultural Bookstore in Richmond, California. This is my new podcast that can be heard on Anchor, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. Check us out and be sure to visit my website at onceuponatimeinblackhistory.com. So today we'll be talking about Nat Love, Dead Book Dick. Historians estimate that one in four cowboys was black, yet little is known about their lives and adventures in the Wild West. The cowboy lifestyle involved in Texas. White Americans hungry for cheap land had moved into the state's Spanish, later Mexican, territory during the first half of the 19th century. Now, the Mexican government opposed slavery, but Americans needed slave labor to establish cotton farms and cattle ranches. Once the Civil War reached Texas, many white Texans began to fight alongside their brothers in the East. The slaves were left to maintain the land and cattle herds. It was this independence that pushed the slaves to develop their skills of cattle tending. And, unbeknownst to everyone, this would render them invaluable to the Texas cattle industry in the post-war era, and some, including Nat Love, would become champion cowboys. Born a slave on a plantation near Nashville, Tennessee, Nat Love had grown fond of riding wild horses. In his memoir, he wrote, We did not dare to put the bridle on them as we were afraid the boss might surprise us and we would not be quick enough to get off. Our mode of procedure was to drive one at a time in the barn, get in the stall. Then, after much difficulty, I managed to get on its back. I held on to its mane and stuck to him like a leech. Then I would get my ten cents. Imagine that guy. Nat also wrote that he'd broken in a dozen colts in his way without the boss discovering the favor I was undoubtedly doing him. And the so-called favor would evolve into a career for Nat. It was his knack for handling wild horses that won him a place with a prominent cowboy outfit that took part in the cattle drives up the Chisholm Trail from Texas to Montana. Within a short time, he had become a champion rider and Roper. In 1876, he was called Deadwood Dick. During a cowboy tournament in Deadwood City, South Dakota, he succeeded in roping, tying, bridling, saddling, and mounting a stallion in nine minutes. He also became a champion rifleman by placing 14 out of 14 shots in the center of a target at 250 yards. You go, boy. The cowboy way of life began to come to an end by the close of the 1880s. Railroad tracks had been laid across the western ranges and covered wagons crowded the plains. But Nat was determined it was not the end of his ambitions. He left the range and took on a job as a Pullman porter around 1890. Now this opportunity, he felt, would offer him the degree of independence to which he had become accustomed. Nat, according to historians Philip Durham and Everett Jones, felt that Pullman's surface offered a challenge to an ambitious man and that it was still exciting to ride across the great mountains and wide plains, even if one had to do it for tips. Nat died in Los Angeles in 1921. 
Now imagine that.